For scientists, we have to look at a lot of information. And you can think about it as a scientist has an enormous landscape around them, which is filled with information, and they have to identify the critical information that they need in order to move forward. So a way to think about it is if you walk outside and it's very foggy. Virtual reality, what it does is it removes the fog. My name is Kevin Halleck. I'm a physical chemist and biophysicist by training. My role at Pfizer has to do with computational uh, modeling and data visualization. The VizCube was built by VizBox. Most environments like the VizCube are used for architecture or engineering. What the VizCube allows people to do is it allows everyone to look at information, uh, say a protein structure or brain anatomy, and uh, you don't have to be an expert in order to participate in a discussion. By lowering the barrier required to access that information, it allows everybody to get up to speed on the amount of information that they need to know in order to research a drug faster. I think virtual reality will end up impacting every stage of uh, drug development in the pharmaceutical industry. It'll allow researchers to explore their data faster. I mean, it, they won't have to come to something like the VizQ. In the future, you'll be able to look at it on your phone, you'll be able to look at it on a pair of goggles. It will impact clinical studies because it'll allow clinicians to have an easier time engaging patients who are testing the drugs or testing a procedure. It can impact therapies because you'll be able to identify which parts of somebody's behavior using a virtual environment need to be impacted the most in order to improve the patient's life. We're at the beginning of the journey.